All right, thank you, Liz. Of course, we talked about this before the very first market happening at the rail yards, and it was an incredible first day. Lots of people in the Duke City talking about this. Uh, sure, a lot of you folks at home went out and checked out the rail yards. You can do it again this Sunday. And here to talk about all the festivities, all the great art, the food, everything that you can enjoy are three people that know firsthand what's going on. They're going to fill us in here this morning. First of all, we have one of the market co-organizers, Mr. Eric Griego. No stranger to the Duke City. Good seeing you, buddy. Good to see Along you. with Ms. Sean Wells, an artist, and Jason Jonas y Delgado. Yunus? Did Yunus. I pronounce that right, Jason? That's all correct. Right. You got Brother you. and sister duo, you are a tinsmith, you are an artist, and you collaborate on some really incredible pieces, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Okay. But first of all, guys, thank you for coming in. Uh, Eric, pleasure. thank you for organizing this and helping be part of the revitalization of, in what my opinion is, one of the coolest, most iconic parts of Albuquerque, the rail yards. So tell us what uh, the, the Sunday events are all about. What can we expect to see out there? So what me and a, about 100 other volunteers have, <laughs> have been working on over the last six months is trying to create a kind of a true public space where artists, uh, kids, and music, and people who love food, local growers can come together and basically share community, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's uh, everything from belly dancers to uh, yoga to amazing art like you mm -hmm. see here to... Uh, to opportunities for people to sort of um, learn about how to make Adobe bricks. Um, really? Wow. Yeah. So it's it's there's food, lots of amazing food. We've got great food trucks. We've got lots of food inside. So it's just a great way to kind of come out on a Sunday and and bring the kids and kind of uh, be part of the community. So that's great. Was was the push originally to to help revitalize the rail yards? And you say, how can we do it? Well, let's make it this this market. Is, or did the market start and you're like, well, where can we put it? How about the rail yards? Which came first? No, we, you know, a lot of folks have been working for years to try to figure out how to get some more activity in life back to those rail yards. And, and recently, and I got to say the city's been an amazing partner with us, we, we finally got one of the buildings into the shape where we could actually use it safely. Sure. And so we, the taxpayers, put a bunch of money into to the, the blacksmith shop, the old blacksmith mm -hmm. shop. And, you know, fixed the roof, put in fire suppression, all that stuff. And then we said, okay, what do we do with this amazing space? And, when you see it, it's you can't help but fall in love with it. So right. one idea, and they're doing lots of other things, but one idea was how about a regular Sunday market to support the other markets already going on, make it a little different. Mm -hmm. And so a bunch of folks just got together, and it's been an amazing grassroots community effort yeah, of, of people who are just volunteering and making it work. Great. So it's a beautiful space, and I think once you see it, um, you just you just want to be there. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's talk a little bit about the art that we can see here. Of course, these pieces absolutely beautiful, Sean. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your artwork, what people can take away with, uh, with them this weekend uh, of your creation. Sure, yeah. It, uh, what's unique for us about that market is that it's one of the very few markets that we can show all of our work. We have a huge mm -hmm. range. My brother's actually a, a fifth generation tinsmith. Really? Wow. And I do uh, uh, traditional uh, Santos images mm -hmm. on retablos, but I also do contemporary muertos, and I mm -hmm. can rarely show both of those at the same market. Yeah. And here I can bring everything. We can bring fresh stuff every week, mm -hmm. and we're always welcomed. And so you bring not only the, the standalone stuff, as you see here, not only is this you know beautiful piece here, your work has also been featured on, on wine bottles, craft yeah, beers, things like that. Yeah, this came out a that. month ago. It's La Catrina Vino, and it features six of my original paintings on the bottles. Wow. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, we have everything from uh, display items, decorative items, affordable prints. Mm -hmm. We have uh, ornaments. Mm -hmm. that, you know, there's oh, something on the small cool. range. And we yeah. also carry the, the pieces that we show at Spanish. We're juried members of the Spanish Colonial Arts Society. Mm -hmm pieces we bring up to market, we have them on display there. So we can show a huge range for, for people shopping at every level. That's really exciting. And how does it feel for you to be part of this revitalization of such a great part of Albuquerque? Uh, it, it really touches my heart. I think everyone who lives in Albuquerque knows the secret, which is it's, it's a beautiful place to live. It's amazing weather and, and, and wonderful people. And I think so many times the events in Albuquerque, Chad, are, are they seem to belong to a partic particular culture, you know, mm -hmm. Anglo, Native, and right. Hispanic. This is one of those unique events in Albuquerque that is part of Albuquerque's living, beating heart. It's yeah. just amazing. You look around and you're like, this is Albuquerque. I'm yeah. a part of. And so, yes, I mean, it's a pleasure to be there. Uh, the other thing is uh, we're working there. I I'm actually demonstrating my tin craft there at my booth and inviting people to come and see how this artwork is done. Mm -hmm. And many of the other artists who are there, live, local, it's fair trade uh, right. and it's very artist friendly. 
So, uh, yeah, so it's a really neat opportunity. To the music sometimes. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's great. Keep yeah. in the beat. Right, so very quickly, uh, Eric, remind us the the times that we can come down to the the rail market and participate. So every Sunday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, we're open all day. There's food trucks. There's food inside. There's baked goods, so you can get breakfast. There's uh, great ice cream for kids, and we are also trying to keep it as healthy as possible. So there's lots of local ingredients and lots of healthy stuff. Um, there'll be the music starts right at nine o'clock, and we have every everything this week and in the future from singer songwriters to uh, we have some spoken word poets there. We have belly dancers. We have dancing groups, um, and then usually around midday there's a bigger sort of act and. Um, um, we have we'll have a couple of those this week. Lots right. of kids' activities, hands-on kids' activities yeah. around arts. We had kids' yoga last week. That's great. So um, so some, bring the kids and, and bring the family out. Right. And, and it'll be yeah, fun. we'll do. All right. Well, of course, we'll have information on our website at casa.com for the rail market, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks. And we'll see you Sunday morning.